Earth. Here it is, all blue and green, white bits mostly at the top and bottom. It's been like that for ages. How dull. Now, if you made it, would you do it better? I'm Ralph with JTLPodcast.com, and I'm going to show you how to play Planet. This is a game for two to four players, plays in about 45 minutes, is designed by Ertis Solinskis and is published by Blue Orange. You have a planet's core, fill it with continents that will build environments to attract animals to your planet to score points. Most points wins. To set up, give each player an empty planet core. Shuffle the continent tiles and make 10 piles of 5 each. Consider these rounds 1 to 10. Shuffle the animal cards, draw 20 and return the rest to the box. Place the animal cards face up from rounds 3 to 12 under the continent tiles. Obviously, this means that animal cards will extend further out than the continent tiles, for now. Create a second row of animal cards under rounds 6 to 12 and a third under rounds 10 to 12. Here is a pick from the rulebook to show how it should look. Secretly deal a random natural habitat to each player face down, return the rest to the box. Choose a random start player and give them the start player marker. A round is played over two phases, adding continents and the origin of life. Adding continents, turn over and spread out the leftmost pile of continent tiles face up. In turn order, players pick one tile to add to their planet. Any player's planet is free to be inspected by the other players at any time, and once a tile has been placed, it cannot be moved. The undrafted continent tiles are moved to a pile to create round 11. When round 11 has 5 tiles, they are added to create round 12. When round 12 has 5 tiles, any further undrafted tiles are returned to the box. From the third round onwards, after adding continent tiles comes the origin of life. Players will compete for animal cards that round, but first a little helpful knowledge about areas and regions. An area is an individual triangle of one habitat. For example, this continent has three forests, one mountain and one desert area. A region is one or more connected areas over multiple tiles. For example, these two tiles are now connected, making a forest region spread over five areas. The individual water area still counts as its own region for scoring purposes. Two areas are touching when they are next to each other, even on different tiles. For example, this desert region is considered to be touching the adjacent water region. The animal cards contain several variations of three different ways players can attract animals to their planet. The first is having the most of one kind of region, for example the panda goes to the player that has the most forest regions. These can be separated anywhere over the planet. For example this planet has two forest regions. The player with the most of the required region takes the animal card. The second is having the largest region, touching a certain habitat. For example this penguin will go to the player with the largest ice region that touches at least one water area. This planet has an ice region of 2 that touches a water area, so their score will be 2. The player with the largest qualifying region will take the animal card. The third is having the largest region of one kind, not touching a particular habitat. For example, this seahorse will go to the player who has the largest water region that does not touch a desert at any point. This planet has a water region of 2 and is not touching the desert area. Again, the player with the largest qualifying region will take the card. If there is a tie for any animal card, the card is moved into the column for the next round and will be competed for in the next round. Pass the first player token to the left and start a new round. The game will end at the end of round 12 where points will be awarded but ties will be handled differently. Any most of a region cards are returned to the box. For the largest region touching or not touching a certain habitat, players will look at the second largest region, third largest region, etc. This will continue until the tie is broken but if nobody can win the card, the card will be returned to the box. Players score their habitat card by counting the number of areas of the relevant type on the planet. Count each area of the habitat shown on the card. For example, this habitat is for deserts. Then use the chart on the card to see how many points you have scored. For example, if you have 17 areas matching your habitat, you score 6 points. It's important to note that these areas on your planet do not need to be touching in order to count. Also, if it helps counting, at this point you can remove the tiles from your planet. It makes it a bit easier. Now score your animal cards. You get one point for each that matches your habitat on your objective card, otherwise you score two points. For example, if you have the water habitat, each blue animal card is worth one point each. Any other animals are worth two point each. The player with the most points wins, with tires going to the player that gained the most animal cards. And that's Planet, an area control drafting game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it, and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast, and you can find my blog and the podcast at jtrpodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Just the Rogue, until next time, keep on looking after this planet, we only get one.